Good morning. It is morning. You can see I'm still in my pajamas. I've had my breakfast because this bib is my object lesson today. It covers my natural shelf. And I also, because I know my might spill things. It's actually two-sided. It gets washed one or two times a week. The Velcro doesn't work very good anymore. Um, my aunt, my mother's sister, gave this to me. And I use it a lot. I think about her every day and I often tuck this in. Um, but it still falls out. But my object of this is we can turn things right, we can turn things left, we can turn things in, we can turn things out, we can try to fasten it together. Life is fragile. Even when we try different things, sometimes we just don't get it right. Mom knew that. Let's read from her journal, the story of my life. Mary Kay called. She doesn't watch much TV. She asked me about India. She wanted to know if I remembered that Jim wrote the speech I was supposed to give. I told her what happened again. When we arrived in India, I was getting sick. We were taken to our room. I had planned to write the speech I was supposed to give the next day. I told Jim I had to go to bed. My notes and notebook were on the floor beside my bed. Jim realized I might not be able to write it. He let me sleep and he took the notebook and wrote the speech. When I woke up, he showed me. He showed me what he wrote. I read it and I couldn't believe how good it was. I asked him how he did it. He said, an angel helped me. He just retired from Dresseran, and the World Council of Churches paid his way to go with me. The Lord was with us all the way. The next day, I felt a little bit better. We walked to the building where people from all over the world were gathered. The AIDS virus was throughout the world. And we were together to compare notes and help each other. Originally, we were scheduled to go to China, but China refused us. Life is fragile. Have a good day.